Dr. Ernie has been treating dengue patients for the past 12 years. It's a disease that continues to pose a serious risk in Indonesia. When it comes to cases involving children, we still haven't seen a decrease in morbidity. It is very difficult to diagnose a child who might have symptoms of dengue fever, especially if they're below five years of age. In the past, precautions mostly centered on fogging, but it was recently reported that 80s mosquitoes are becoming immune to the practice. Now, after 20 years of research, a vaccine to prevent the disease has arrived in Indonesia. Dengvaxia is the first vaccine that can be used against all four strains of dengue. It is now approved for use in nine other countries, including Thailand, the Philippines, Mexico and Brazil. Indonesia has the second highest number of dengue after Brazil. In our study, we were able to find positive results in two out of three patients who received three full courses of this vaccine. It can also prevent hospitalization by as much as 80 percent. The research for development was conducted in 15 countries, including Indonesia. Around 1,800 children across West Java and Denpasar participated in the study group. Although the research has not been fully completed, the vaccine showed significant results in those aged 9 up to 16 years old. The economic impact of dengue in the country is huge. Indonesia spends around 300 million U.S. dollars per year to treat dengue. If the government distributes this vaccine through proper programs, it can save a lot of money and lives. Dr. Ernie agrees. She believes this is the breakthrough that could help Indonesia deal with a disease that's been crippling the country for decades. Indonesia has had a long battle with dengue. In the first half of 2016 alone, the health ministry recorded more than 200 deaths and around 160,000 cases across the country. The growing epidemic is concerning, but this new vaccine could help end the spread of the dengue virus. Sulkina Aluwalia, CCTV, Jakarta.